If you're only doing strength training, you're only preparing your body to be strong, but you're not preparing it to do those fast explosive movements needed on the pitch. Hey, what's up team? This is Coach Abraham checking in with Armor Strength and Conditioning and another video. But today we're gonna be going over how you can prevent and come back from an injury which requires two things. Most of the time I see players only doing strength training exercises or just going out for two weeks, not doing anything and then coming back to your sport, okay? If you are one of those players, guys, I'm telling you right now, you're limiting what you can do and you're hindering yourself to come back even stronger and faster. We're gonna be going over the two methods, which is strength and speed, again, to prevent or come back from injury, guys. So without further ado, let's just get right into it. Yeah, top of the morning, I know that you thought I was dormant. Woke up early from shots that was swarming a black all right, team, so I'm not in my usual setup. I don't have the fancy lights. Honestly, I just wanted to try something new. Like always, you know I got my coffee here. And this post is from my Instagram, guys. Make sure you're following me there so you don't miss out on any new content. I put out all my carousels there. A carousel is this right here, something that I'm able to scroll. For most of my videos, I make them so you can actually apply it and it's not just information out in the air that you don't know what to do with. Let's begin with the two things. Successful athletes need to incorporate two things to succeed and minimize injury. The first thing, focus the muscular loading such as Nordic curls for strength training. This is referred to as local tissue capacity. So this is the specific structure, in this case the hamstrings, ability to withstand tissue specific cumulative load. Okay, so a strength training exercise like the Nordic hamstring curl. And the second thing is gonna be tissue specific capacity such as sprinting. This is referred to as sport specific training and it's the ability to withstand demands of the game such as kicking, cutting, and sprinting. If you have these two things, not just whenever you are rehabbing, coming back uh, to your sport, but also all year, all right, you are preparing yourself to not only be strong, but also be faster and so you can hinder those plateaus. This is all about thinking long term guys. If you are 15 years old, imagine what you can do if you did this consistently for 10 years. And if you're somebody who's a little bit older and plays recreational soccer or football, you are still doing yourself a favor so you can continue to do and play the sport that you love. Hey, hey, this week only 40% off all my programs. If you wanna get my programs guys, now is your chance. This is the best deal year round that you're never gonna get probably not for another year, so make sure that you take advantage of that. So let's think long term. This means only doing strength training, local tissue won't cut it. This means getting back to your game, sport specific, won't cut it when coming back from injury. Think of the long terms that this can have if you don't strengthen those body parts that are always getting injured. This means resting for two weeks and hoping things heal on their own won't cut it. This is something very typical I see. You get an injury, your doctor says, hey, hey, take two weeks off. And no guys, I am not a doctor. I'm not saying that what your doctor is saying is completely wrong, but I sometimes feel there is a knowledge gap and we need to be sometimes more proactive. Yes, a lot of times completely cutting the thing that is injuring you is a great solution. But for how long are you gonna be doing that? Are you gonna be doing that for five days, for two days, or for two weeks? What is happening in those two weeks? Your muscles, everything, it's getting weaker and not as fast anymore. And research shows us guys that after an injury, once an area is injured, it is going to be weak, okay? So it's your job to strengthen it back up. For the injured athlete, right after an injury, local tissue capacity decreases, like I mentioned. Strength decreases. Early stages, temporary reduction of training to promote healing, stop or reduce your training, followed by progressive strengthening and improvements in neuromuscular control. Strength training. Again, local tissue capacity regained is not enough to return athletes to play and perform safely. If you're only doing strength training, you're only preparing your body to be strong, but you're not preparing it to do those fast explosive movements needed on the pitch. Maintenance or restoration of sport specific capacity is required to bridge the gap between rehab and peak performance. And that just means combining your strength training with some speed training progressively in a safe manner. Three key points when progressing training. Using athlete feedback, athlete reported outcome in combination with external loads. Two, prescribed with healthy athletes previous injuries in mind. And three, local tissue and sport specific loading are needed for an injured athlete to return to sport safely. Exposure to sport specific loading allows safe reintegration into training and competition. So this just means actually doing the strength training, 
the speed specific training which could be plyometrics and then once you have progressed enough then you go on to your full uh, accelerations sprint training change of direction agility all that good stuff guys and then slowly getting back into the sport whether it's starting off by just touching a ball then shooting then slowly getting into contact with your players we've all seen that player that comes back from an injury gets into team training and then boom he's hurt again or he's wondering why he's not progressing from his injury a whole lot faster and this is an example of an error and over focused on local tissue capacity this is something we see a lot the player just doing the strength training exercises the implication is that the athlete has good local tissue health now but is unable to perform the demands of the competition meaning the speed aspect of it now a balanced approach like i've been saying the whole video is strength and a speed aspect, plyometrics jumping all that good stuff guys everything combined in a progressive manner if you're doing that year round or coming back from an injury you are doing all right all right and what's super important guys i'm not a physical therapist so you need to ensure that you are following your physical therapist plan and even asking asking him or her those questions hey how can i get back into my training in a in a safe manner guys i couldn't have made this video without the help and the paper of gabbits et al from 2020 so make sure that you check out his instagram guys he's always putting out a bunch of papers which are completely free if you email him that's it for this video i do want to say hey this week only 40 percent off all my program i have my updated program already guys three times a week off season but you can also do it in season but then i have a full in season program twice a week and guys both of these programs i've had great feedback over them strength injury prevention knee health ankle health speed plyometrics power guys it has it all to make you into that ultimate footballer guys so thank you so much for watching if you like it leave a like drop a comment and subscribe for more high quality content and i'll see you guys on the next one peace